Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have Starfetchers, the pilot, which is the introductory episode to this world filled with gangsters, gore, and violence. And this song already, the opening song sounds pretty awesome, so I know this video is going to get copyright struck, but let's go. It looks good. I'm excited. Alright, let's start this bad boy. Let's full screen it first. Yeah, I like that option. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my recording, but yellow. I'll just have to replay it if it does. A game by... Hamburger Man. The Hamburglar. LK. Hamburger LK. Includes beats by... Kostorobus. Uh, don't copyright me, Kostorobus. I don't mean it. Them Bobs. Hey, it's me. Just a lowly gas station worker, I guess. Ah, <sighs> another wasted evening. Felt that. This blows. Okay. Oh, I can move. Look how he runs. That's really strange. Oh, can I go into- okay. Follows the mouse, that's kinda cool. Mega Slushio. Now with even more Slushio. There's a camera over here that I could see for some reason. What's up, friend? Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels good to have your life set. Yeah, 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 the day Dad yeah, yeah. croaks, this place will be mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. After that, life is basically easy street for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Must feel bad to not have your parents help you out. What does your dad even do? My dad works at the post office. He licks at, um, envelopes for a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How novel. Holy crap, what is that? Oh, I'm like a dog, baby. Whoa, now that's say I did not teach you where the dumpster was. I always have to take care of them. Come on, I'm like a dog, You see here, baby. I'm your boss, I'm and you're our dog, my employee. You and going trash just happens to be employee work. I'm like a dog, baby. I also I'm got type 2 diabetes baby. and can't move out of this chair. You know that. <laughs> okay, diabetes man. No way, I'm entering the meat dungeon. I, I like how you can like moonwalk. Let's go! <laughs> Skill! What's up, children? Hello. What the fuck? You wanna buy penis enlargement pills? Or burnt copies of iCarly Season 2 on Blue Lake? What are their scouts doing in the city? These items do not seem appropriate for kids to sell. Capitalism says the market sets the goods. Trying to hustle cookies in a place like this simply won't cut it. Can I pick the other answer? Our military grade. What are y'all selling? For real though. Is that dude wearing panties on his head? What the? Weirdos? What are you looking at, PSAMP? Nothing. What's up, cop man? Hey there, kid. You'll have to shove off. There's been a murder here. The crime scene. Bloody horrific. Each day that passes, I would wish for a big fat flood to wash this city away. Why are you looking so cheap, sir? This city cut back on the annual budget for the police force. Only the crudest and cheapest cops will take a job in a city like this. That's what you get. Cheap, crude-looking cops. Oh, there's the dead body. Dang, who chopped his head off? Okay. Another way we go. Oh, it's boxes. We love boxes. What's up? New taste of soda. American barbecue. That sounds this super gross. We did it. We threw the trash away. Great success. Dead. Yeti. I need you to go to the meat dungeon. No way, please. I hate the meat dungeon. Dead. It's rough, I know, but someone has to euthanize those pigs. And as store vice store manager, it is well within my power to assign you this task. Here, take the pig stick. Alright. Oh, I can swing it. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, I'm excited for what... Oh, I don't want to kill Bertha. Do I have to kill Bertha? No, I don't want to. I'm sorry, Bertha. Your rain ends here today. I don't want to, though. Can, uh, is there another way? Uh, it doesn't even let me leave. There's gotta be another way. 
I ain't gonna look at it. No, Bertha. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad. Sorry, world. These pigs has to die. I killed it though already. Did I not kill it good enough? What do you want from me, game? Ooh! I killed the pig! Damn it! Did I have to restart? Did I break it? Maybe I didn't kill it good enough. Maybe it's because I wasn't looking at it. <laughs> I do like the attack, though. Alright, let's redo. I don't know. Game settings? What is a Zerdy mode? This is a really cool game, though. This is... You can tell there's a lot of effort into it. I, I don't... Can't chop its head off. Oh shit, you can jump! What the fuck? I didn't even know. I have to kill all the... That was Bertha's sister, Gwendolyn. Form a strong... Right mouse button whilst in the air. Oh, look at that. Can I kill the pig with it? Oh, that was cool, dog. Oh. Or Pigamus Rex. Oh, that was really cool, actually. That's super dope. I like this game a lot. This is super cool. Can I kick this, too? No, no, no. We can't kick that. Yep. This dude is a lord. This dude is a ninja. Are you kidding me? What is this? Why am I working here? Come here, Pigamus. Pigamus! Get out of here, eyeballs. Where is he going? Where's all this blood coming from? Aw, oh, he's so sad. I'm sorry, Mr. Pigamus. I feel so bad. Oh, they were so innocent looking. I'm a murderer. This. Feels kind of bad. Feels real bad. Was I meant for something better than this? Man, Yanny, we could hear you guys from way out here. Could you be a bit more quiet next time? Also, there's more trash. You're a trash. I'm about to murder them. Those are those pigs I just killed. Aha, uh -huh, Senyani! You've got blood on yourself. Oh, oh god, you sure are still a I bet you did that just to give me a good laugh. Uh, I wish I could kill him. Feels good to have your life set. Oh, he's gonna say the same thing. Get off. Get off me. The music in this game is lit, though. This is a really cool game. Oh, son of a bitch! Damn it. Feel that. He's crying. God damn it. This dude's life. I feel so bad for him. I really wish I weren't here right now. Oh god, it's some kind of master. Thorsman of some sort. What's up, fam? Hey. Hello. Are you a loser? Well, what? I'm a people person. I can perceive your true nature from miles away. This is probably a female and I'm talking like a dude. The hair. You're a loser, aren't you? We're gonna go with the more ambiguous voice because I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. No real goal in life. Just a product of happenstance and piss poor judgment. Never stopping to do what you want to do. You're dangerous. More dangerous than you could ever imagine. With so little regards for, to yourself, you're a freaking machine. Christ. You're so perfect and you don't even know it. What are you talking about? Oh, that's... Uh, maybe it is a dude. I'm talking about you. You in your life. I'm passing you by. It's passing you by while you're out here crying in the rain. Wipe your tears. Crybabies don't go to heaven. I'm giving you the chance of a lifetime. You're about to enter culture shock. I'm an outlaw, real modern cowboy. Name some Bezzy. I roam around in the gray zone, you know. 
The place is so bad, the police don't even dare to enter. I've got my own crew called the Thorns. Thorns? Yeah, we'll rob stores, beat up thugs and shit. You and me, baby. We're going to run the gray zone. This sounds awesome. So what do you say? Sorry, Tyler Durden. I don't... Who is Tyler Durden? I don't think I'm suited for the thug life. Oh, from, uh, Fight Club. Oh, God, I broke the number one rule. <laughs> I did blew it. You blew it. We could have been something. But you playing? Hard to get. Hurry to work, then. I hear the bell call you. Go fetch the wage. Alright, you talked me into it. <laughs> What's this dude doing? My name is Ansi. I'm oh. a generation 1 high frequency trading android. Oh. First of its kind with a computational power of 12 million computations per second. Wow. With the intent of socializing the digital aspects of modern economics. I don't think it's working. In the wake of my creation, a shift of power could be felt throughout the nation, countless jobs within the economical ecosystem tilted into obscurity because it's of all me. your fault. Countless protest against my installation was held but was ultimately fruitless. On the morning of the 1st of September 30 years ago, I was installed in the main building of Goldman Central Bank. They put me on an almost empty floor, with only 12 other people working there, with most of them having jobs to accommodating my different needs. From that point onward, the world just looked on in awe and horror as I dominated the economy. Oof. The economical elite was at this point obliterated from the 1% down to the micro percent, basically creating a new super class for the wealthiest. This guy's got a whole I was fucking doing life story good. going on. Each night, the owners of the bank almost ceremonially whispered their deepest darkest wishes in my ear before going home for the day. Hmm. They would spend countless hours each doing this to me. As they told me their secrets, they sometimes would cry. I guess it was some sort of guilt catching up to them. I sometimes pretend to cry when there is no one around. Hmm. As to sort of practice my guilt. I wish to feel guilty as well, but I am very much incapable of that. Every dog has its day as they say, and my day was about to come. On the evening of June the 12th, he entered my office. Who? Cansey, Generation 2 High Frequency Trading Android. Oh, you're replaced. Tricked Aww. out with all the latest bells and whistles. He had a computational power of 12 million, 1,000 computations per second. Only 1,000 more. 1,000 more computations more than me each second. 60,000 more computations oh more than me each minute. It's going deep. 3,600,000 oh. more computations more than me each hour. 86,400,000 more computations more than me each day. 604,800,000 oh more computations more than me each week. We got it. 241. 9200,000 more computations more than me each month. He had me beat. Yeah. Each night, the wealthy bank men would whisper their secrets in his ear instead of mine. Leaving me with no reason to practice my guilt again. I'm incapable of emotion, but he made me realize something very important about myself. I was about to be replaced. On yeah. the morning of the 12th of November, after only two years in service, I made my, my last stock calculation ever and was carried out of Gold Ehrman Central Bank with my arms behind my back. As a ceremonial gesture before leaving, they dunked my head in gold and sang for he's a jolly good fellow. Uh -huh. I looked over at my co-workers in horror. I was rendered useless and I was replaced by the new and superior. 
The moment was a revelation as I think I truly bridged the gap between man and machine, oh, because even without the capacity for emotion or even the basic understanding of it, I knew exactly how it felt to be human. I think that's it. What a story, dude. God, that was dark. Hooker Slasher Street? That sounds like a great street. Oh, let's talk to him one more time. <laughs> Culture shock, my friend. Alright, see you, friend. Hamburger, oh, hamburger, hamburger, fuck you very much. Oh, they say, they say thank you very much or fuck you very much. Oh, oh, senora, come over here. Oh, man. Oh, I've been the. Oh, no, it's the sun. You suck. Hot dog, baby. Thank God, Thank I can't really hear you here in the store. Because oh, I need oh, you to fill in this much. weekend. Hot dog, baby. Me and Billy Bob are going to watch the new Star Wars. Pew pew. Hot dog, baby. What would happen to this place if I quit? Come on, oh, 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 let's not do anything extra here. Come on, hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. This store is like a fine ecosystem. You can't change stuff around too drastically. Come on, hamburger, baby. You quit. Hot dog, baby. Who will be poor Billy Bob's co worker? Ah, uh, God. Hamburger, baby. Hot dog, Just look baby. At him. How can you deny to this young man the joy of your companionship? Very easily. Uh oh. He's about to get hit by a car. Move, Billy Bob! Move! Get out of there! Get out of there, Billy Bob! I warned him. <laughs> Mio! Idio! Sorry about the boy squashed underneath our Toyota 8686. What is this, initial D? This is awesome! Gobo save the initial D! It is initial D! That's right, we're the Grand Chagos and we're here to fuck up your little gift joint. Give us your money and we won't have to take out anyone else. Company, we're open to. Oh god, he has a gun! I only have a pig sticker. The hero, Tyler Durden. Oh, he's just here to steal stuff, bro. Who well, the hell are you? Get out of here! Can't you see we're robbing this place? Just browsing for something to drink. Hey, idiot! We'll end you right here if you don't get the fuck out of here. Hey, clerk. I got a special deal on saving the life of fellow crew members. Did you want to join up or not? Wait a minute. Are you the person that tried to take down 33... Oh wait, which people are talking now? Are you the person that tried to take down the 33 Street Vipers last week? Okay. Yeah, yeah, breached their headquarters, swinging, sword swinging like a maniac, trying to take them on. Total failure, barely escaped alive. Only other crew members got smoked by the Vipers. Thornies, Thornberries, uh, can't remember the name of the game. Burke. You in or do you want to die here in this dusty store? I... I don't want to die. Good choice. Uh, we got the drop kick button. Left mouse button drags out the path of your time. Shift to time choke. I want a time choke. Oh, I'm playing as this dude. Shit! Oh! <laughs> Dead RTO research. What the fuck? That did not work. Oh my god, this is hard. Oh my god. Cat oh. What the fuck? What am I? Okay, I can deflect the bullet. <laughs> Lord almighty. Got him. Wow, what a rush. Why did they get a gun? I got a stupid knife. Crazy how things worked out like that. Anyways, Clark, you're coming with me now. Hurry on outside, your new life is awaiting you. Well, uh, goodbye, Bim Bob. Poor Bim Bob, his son just got hit by the initial D car. And you, store owner. Empty the cash register, you crusty old fuck. One week later. 
Hey, music in this game is lit. I like this. Everything about this game is super freaking cool. This place is perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. We set up base out here, no one will ever bother us. I swear I saw a crucified hobo earlier. So what? Come on. We're in the heart of the gray zone. Lawlessness, of course, is going to be a bit on the wild side. Imagine having this entire place for ourselves. So much room for activities. Besides, my mom says we can't be at the apartment if we're going to be doing gang shit. <laughs> That's too bad. Your mom is nice. Well, we're out here now, and I have a hunch about this place. A hunch that says it's going to be perfect. Suburban Satans. The guys shacking up in this place are real low life. Still, they outrank us. Suburban Satans. Thorns, threat level 5. Oh, we're threat level 2. Okay. If the whole bunch went missing, we'd make it this we'd make the city a huge favor. So let's head there and claim some names. I suggest we split up. One goes through here, the other takes the back. So who takes the front? Me? Oh, you get to choose your character? This is super soul. cool. Dash. Don't know how to file tax returns thanks to the moonlight. Thanks to moonlighting is bullshit. Also, at no point make references to Star Wars. Leader of the Thorns, Bad Egg, and Overall Thug Life Enthusiast. Zane Yachty. Bio has never seen snow, got hit by a car at the age of six, will at no point make references to Star Wars. Newest member of the Thorns was... Sounds good. Let's play this. Let's play this, this dude. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I'm a ninja, bitch! What's up? This is awesome. Who wants to get drop kick? There ain't nobody up here. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Oh. Yes! We drop kicked somebody, it was awesome. It's not worth doing, but it was cool. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Luigi! Can I free him? Oh wait, I can go in here. It's a little bit hack and slash, but at least you die in one hit, so there is some difficulty. Well, actually, there's more, so there's actually a lot of difficulty. Woohoo! Bring that ass here, boy! <laughs> this game is so fun. Oh, we just hit each other's swords. <laughs> I have enjoyed this way too much. This is awesome. Oh, shit! I had the high ground, how did I lose? Ooh, that dude is a camper! Fuck you, camper. This is so cool, dude, I'm telling you. You want to play a really fun game. Oh, shit! <laughs> that was a surprise, bitch. Oh god, he had a gun. I hate when they have a gun. Oh my god. He just shot me in the dick. That's so hard. Oh my god. God, it sucks. Get out of here, dude. Can you jump at me? Who are you guys? Get out of here. Master Swordsman, baby. Oh, God. That dude's got fast firing things. <laughs> the music's so good. But oh, shit. I just spawned into a bullet. Alright, y'all chill with that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where's your gun at now? We haven't even fought a boss yet. Why do you guys have so many gangsters, bro? There's gonna be a gun guy over here somewhere. Okay. No Camperino, please. Oh, 
Oh, there's a fish man. Sorry, fish man. <laughs> oh, did I break it? I minimized it on accident, my bad. What's up with all the Satan? Oh, it is a Satan thing, man. I forgot I read that at the start. What are we doing? Oh, there's a door down here. I was like, what are we doing down here? Boss fight, baby. Let's go. We fight the Satan boss? This game is so freaking lit, my dudes. This is awesome. Oh, what's that eyeball doing? Satan Catman, about to catch these hands. Feels good to be the boss. Mr. Big Dick himself. Ain't no one trying to mess with me. Isn't that right, Cultist Worshipper 43? <laughs> what? I'm not Cultist Worshipper. Oh, wait, that's him. He's about to die. Oh, no, I'm his friend. Hey, ah! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew I was strong enough to crush someone with the door. Such a sad and stupid way to die. You the leader of this place? I'll have to confiscate this place for the thorns, I'm afraid. What? <laughs> That's why he's got me thinking. Hey, you. I'm Suburban Satan. Seems like you've gone through my guys quite easy. My guys. You know, I love them, right? Aw. Now there's just me with the AK-47! But, hey my dude, now you're here. Good going. But this is where it ends. Flipside, bitch. Another song! Bring the ass here, boy! <laughs> Oh shit! Takes more than one hit to kill this man. Oh god, it is hard. Wait a second, let me get my feet out of my chair. <laughs> How many hits does it take? God, this is hard actually. The AK will kick up your sword unexpectedly. Fuck! Oh my god, this game is actually so hard. What the fuck am I supposed to do? He like reloads and then murders me. Okay, so he only gets so many shots before he has to reload. So I should let him reload, block all the shots, and then kill him. Got it. Bring it, baby. That's so hard to block all the shots. Oh my god, okay. Oh, come on, man. This boss is hard. I can't get my mouse in the right spot. Okay. Chill. Thank you, my dude. Alright. Bring that ass here, boy. Fuck! I hate when he reloads right when you hit him. Cause he starts shooting down on you and that's really hard to block. How do you kill this man? How do you kill this man? Okay, that was a bad idea. Does he not have a health bar or something? Ah, <laughs> uh, I got shot in the cankle. Damn AK bullets bounce your sword, which is realistic, but oh, it's very difficult because you don't know which ones are going to bounce your sword and which ones don't. Ah, oh, damn. I gotta get this better situated too. I'm having a hard time moving my mouse freely enough. 
Maybe if I just wave my sword randomly, I'd just... No, I ain't gonna hold it. Oh my god. I need to stop trying to double hit him. Such a hard boss fight. Like, did you see how that one bullet knocked my sword like extra hard? That's what gets you killed. Jesus. Fuck! That's so dumb when he gets that. <laughs> Fuck, man. I don't know how to do this. My time ring always up when he's... Yes! We won! That was so hard! Oh my god, that fight was so hard. Give me that AK! Oh no, this is it! That was so freaking hard, my dude. I'm bleeding to death and shit. Fuck! Imagine that I would get killed by a punk ass bitch like you! Thorns, who are even are you guys? Who's your name? Suburban Satans. Now that's the name you hang over the fireplace. That name comes home and puts on jeans. God damn, I'm losing too much energy doing this. You think you're hot shit, don't you? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. The gray zone is big, and the real players will eradicate you. Oh damn, it's getting dark. Please, if you're going to claim this place as your own, bury me and my men in the backyard. All 46 of us. In one grave. You'll have to do a lot of digging. No. They're going nope, my dude. Hey, we won! The third threat level is five now. Oh no, we're still two. Hey, now we're five. Let's go. This game is super cool. I like this a whole lot. I cannot stress enough how dope this is. We actually buried him? Well, okay. Damn! Dude wasn't mine. There sure was a whole lot of digging to do. Aw. No pounding. I just feel off, but put off, off put by all this violence. I kind of feel bad for them. How do people even end up like those guys? What do you mean? Like cultist? I don't know. Like some elaborate phone scam, maybe. I already know how we became thugs. We became a thug. So who are the real players? Not a not a hundred percent sure. There are. A, a lot of really tough guys here in the zone, you know, but there's one guy who comes to mind. You see that huge tower over there? Oh shit, that's a big old tower. Someone's overcompensating for something. <laughs> dog head. Oh god, he actually has a dog head. The realest motherfucker in the zone. I want to kill a dog, to be honest. Guy comes out of nowhere. Takes out all the top players. Nibblets 2000. Dead. Go, go, shrimp daddy. Dead. Smoked. Patty and the fuck guys. Buggies. Dead. Fucking. Destroyed. Photorealistic horse. Also dead. No one stand, stood a chance against this lonesome motherfucker. Doghead was ruthless, but after becoming the illest guy in the zone, he went away. Hit himself on top of that tower station. You can actually see his silhouette over there. 
Some say he lost his mind. I think he's just biding his time. For what? I'm not sure. But we wait for his return. Gangs through the gray zone started to live in the tower in hopes of coming closer to their idol. Now a power hierarchy takes place in the tower, where its lower tier gangs stay at the bottom. The higher tier gangs live closer to Doghead. Interesting. I want to reach him. To get the chance to meet him. To be just like him. I want nothing more in the world. You're with me, right? You'll help me make the zone fear the thorns. You sound a bit mental about this. Let's ask him what he I don't know. I know, probably. And you're going to help me. We're going to have him and the rest of the gray zone kneel before our strength. But first, I think we should focus on raising some capital. Okay. How do we raise capital? I hate that tower. It haunts me. What happens when you beat Doghead? Then... I'll be the motherfucking top dog. I'll like leave my mark, you know. There's nothing else that matters besides that, right? I don't know. Can we leave this place hanging around a graveyard? Bad omen. Real bad omen. Which way are we going, though? Do we go this way or this way? I like it. Look at the inside of my cape, dude. It looks super cool. In this place, the gray zone is almost kind of beautiful. If you say so. Yeah, they got some weird, like, tertiary shit going in the inside of the cave. Holy cow! See that thing? No. It's a save stick! Hurry up, go over and sit on it! Sit on it. Yeah, come on, it's just a stick. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I don't know about that one, my dude. How do I sit on it? Oh, I stand up. Oh, okay. Save. Yeah. I only get three letters? Fuck. That's... Yes, just take a breath of that air. Sulfur, acid drops, blood, crumplets and biscuits. Ah uh, yeah, nothing beats the sweet aroma of lawlessness. Yuck, there's a loud humping going on in this rundown hotel. Hey, humping. Help me, dude. I'm trying to talk to the door. Yes, we foresee great misfortune in your future. You see, this is a great misfortune. Me? Shoo shoo, you ugly little critters. Don't talk to these foul old men, Senyata. They'll fill your brain with nonsense. This is a. Okay. Who's this guy? What's up, homo homeless Joe? I hate this. Hey, what? This city, the pollution in the air, it's so sad you can't see the stars anymore. Here, it used to be magical. You could see it all from here, clear, so clearly. With the light pollution, this is just another place to stare at the smog. What are we supposed to do here? Why are we sitting down for it? Okay, that was really weird. I hit the S key, I guess. Where are we supposed to go, my dude? Maybe it'll be unblocked in the future. What if I break with my sword? Soda. What's up with these guys? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry! How is that? Well, not the father. The fucking baby looks exactly like him. I can't believe Jerry had it delivered on stage like that. I can't believe that day. <laughs> I can't believe that DNA test. 
Jerry did by eating their hair from the baby and the father was legit. Jerry sure is the gift that keeps on giving. I feel blessed. Okay, that was a weird thing. Well, oh, it's a cat. The cat is smirking at me. I'll smirk right back at you, cat. Where we at now? Talk to the snow. What just happened? What's up, dude? They just... They just released a new flavor of Indian stew. It is fucking useless. Okay. They usually tell people to stop buying this shit here. If I can force this one to be non-profitable, I can put this whole thing down. Fuck these machines. Well, I'm not thirsty anyhow, so you're telling me you want to end this vending machine's whole career? Ha, oh, you're funny. Not just this machine, all the machines you see. Don't you realize what this thing is? A machine that provides cold, delicious beverages? No, you fuck. This is the embodiment of El the Eldritch Parasite of Capital itself. The fucker is reproducing right in front of your eyes. In fact, you, the customer, is breeding it. You think it is a coincidence that we can't stop making these things, pushing out a new fl exciting flavor here each month? Can you imagine stopping production? Just leaving technology behind, going backwards, even the apocalypse is easier to imagine. We are already possessed by this virus, forcing our minds to contribute to its birth. Artificial intelligence is not what it seems. It is a being from another reality trying to force them itself into our timeline. We are birthing the very creature that will end us. Okay. Never mind, try the drinks. Oh, you talked me into it. I can't. Where are we at now? That's like back to where we started from. Kind of ninja. Look at our pad. It's beautiful. Our very own place. Hmm, but maybe a trip to Ikea would be in order. Maybe the headquarter with some Malt Skog or Lil J Famine, uh, perhaps? I don't know, dude. Whoa, we are in the joint. What's up? This is nice. We got an AK-47. Who wears the jeans now? Tell him. <laughs> we aid what we... We did what we could with the place. Who wears the pants now, son? This dude's like fascinated with Doghead. Is he like a super fan or something? Why did I get the filthy spot? Oh, this is where I sleep at? What are we doing here? I kept hearing screams from the door, so we boarded it up. Smart. Zumbezi's room. Hi, right, Zumbezi. What are we supposed to do here, fam? Why do you keep teleporting around? Why are we here? What's, it, what's up? What's our next mission, my dude? Wait a second, was there something down there? It looked like he was going down somehow. Never mind. So we found our headquarters at least. But, I don't know what to do. Lost. from the start, like not too long ago. Oh, where are we at now, Satan? Oh, what's up with all the Satan stuff? Do we win? Oh God, what's up fam? I see you. Slow down, look around. What in the actual hell was that? I don't know, dude. Slow down, look around, what does that mean? Ah, uh, yes. Just take a breath of that air.
that it? Just slow down, look around? Is that all you're gonna tell me? I mean, it's will steal your life away. Oh, this is a door bullshit, apparently. Alright, leave the door bullshit alone. We're done with that. What are you doing, Ninja Man? What about this door? Ah, oh, we can't go in that one. Oh, we had the high ground, but then we lost it. I'm so confused what we're supposed to be doing right now. Cash, baby. Progress. That was a Jeep. Give me my trigger daddy. Uh oh. Oh. Two of you don't happen to be associated with gang banging. Hey, yo, Senyadi, I think these guys are narcs. Oh, all right, you guys are quick. Luckily, we aren't within our jurisdiction to bust your garden, no man. <laughs> just... Hey, shut your face, pig. What do you want? We might not see eye to eye on a lot of things, but there's the language that both of us speak. Money. And we got a shit ton of that. I'm Agent Proto Velosky. My partner here is Agent Carbonara. We're from the intelligence agency Han. We're here because we're looking for one of Han's agents, Agent Jacob Flyman. He's gone missing. We're suspecting one of those gangs in the zone has kidnapped him. We'll pay you handsomely if you help us extract him. What do you say? Hell yeah, give me that money, boy. Let's go, mission start. Hey, let's go. I'm busy. Not very gangster to help out the authority. Maybe not, but it's baller as fuck to get paid a mountain of cash. I need to raise some serious capital, and this is capital. Raise some old prison and save some G-man? Doable. But the gang that sticks around that place, bad news, buddy. Lost cause. Wow, they're a good bit more threat level than us. We'll fuck them up, though. Don, I'm going to do it. Do what? I'm going to leave prison. But Joe, you love prison. I know the prison shut down long ago and there's nothing really keeping me here. I've never felt prepared to leave prison even after spending 14 years on the inside. I guess I've only been clamoring onto the only thing I know. But I'm done. I'm getting out of here. Now you're going to get hit by a car. You know, I can't go with you. I know. Aw. They both gonna get hit by a car. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, poor people. Alright, we'll be back. 
back in a bit. Hey. Very nice of you guys to extract the agent. Agent Flyman. Should be in protective custody. Godspeed, guys. Such bravery. You're really doing your nation a service here. Yeah, whatever, Narc. Are you guys just going to chill out here while we do all the work? Uh -huh, something like that. This place is outside of our jurisdiction. We set up a can't go in and kill a bunch of gangbangers. We don't have the proper reward. Ah, huh, not so powerful when lost in the hood, Narc. Alright, break into the boneyard, fetch sage, and get some cash. You take front, I go around back, meet up on the inside. I'll play the other guy this time if I have a choice. Oh, I didn't have a choice. That's a safe stick. Yeah, baby. This game's super cool, though. Do I have to rename it every time? Uh... That's how you save over. There we go. Go back. Hold left must have bumped to you, sir. Well, I know that. Wow. Hey! Damn it, Tom, baby. Oh, that guy likes to walk, don't you? Oh, shit, there's a gun. Always gotta be careful with the gun, boys. I don't know why I'm not doing it. God, that's like fun and getting shot. That was cool. <laughs> I like running through the dumb people with the sword. that dude? Oh fuck, I got shot in the dick. What are you doing? The flying dragon? What is that dude? God, I keep getting murdered. Fuck. This is a pretty hard game because one hit kills. God, they like flying at you, don't they? It's kind of hard to do the mouse, like it's hard to kind of aim the sword. A little bit. You have to do like really wide sweep of motions to get it to go where you want it to. Fuck, man. Alright, fuck this. Tired, y'all. I don't know. Alright. Fuck your flying dragon hidden. Like, aiming the sword, I am so whipping it around, it just is not working correctly for me. Yeah, screw y'all. That's really hard when they're all stacked up together. That's the kick idea, not a good idea there. <laughs> Try to stick again. Stick is hard, dude. That's a hard game. It wasn't so much at the start, but I can feel the pain now. The fucking stage elevation is kind of trippy, too. That. Might be better not to hold the cleave and just kind of click as you go. So you can make sure you get the sword in the right place. Oh, what is going on here? Dang. Ooh, whoa, chill. I murdered the crap out of somebody. Boss fight. Oh, what's up, Doc? San Yeti. This place is a freaking madhouse. How was stuff on your end? Nightmare. Yeah, I hear you. These guys might be tough, but damn it if we are not tougher. 
This seems to be the warden's office. Hopefully the key to protective custody is here. Boss fight. Oh dang, this must be the warden's office. Fancy room for such a trashy prison. Oh look! There's a dude on the shelf. Just chilling. What a nice key. It's gotta be the key to the boneyard! It was kinda obvious. No way it's a trap. What about the dude on the shelf? Who's that guy? Oh god! Miso Deo! <laughs> Daylight come and I won't go home. Don't kill me, dude. I'm the motherfucking warden of this place. No one enters the protective custody on my watch. Okay. <laughs> Sandy, Andy, you coward! Ah, yeah, whatever. Damn, he just straight up damned. I don't need that crusty little punk to whoop you under the rug. I'm the Galileo murder boss. Get at me. This guy, grenade launcher, fam. Oh, that's not good. Can I knock those back at him? Yeah, I have to. Oh shit, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Oh hell no. What? Oh, I clicked off it. Damn it, dude. Oh. There's one downside for having your mouse is a freaking tag beat. I'm on full screen, I clicked out of it. I can't imagine if I was on window mode. God, this is so hard. How do you knock these back in this speed? There we go. That's how you do it. Yeah, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! This must have been the last of the bunch. Now, San Yeti. <laughs> San Yeti, you stupid bitch. Ha <laughs> ha, you absolute scoundrel. Get up! I'll let this one slip. But next time, I'll force feed you to cat food. But first, let's get paid. Hey. That was funny. <laughs> he just straight up dipped out the window. Very going. Our fine nation is in great debt to you. I'll go in and have a talk with the agent. Agent Carbonero will take care of the payment. I feel like she's gonna try to double cross me. We wholeheartedly thank you. We've had such problems with loose ends lately. And loose ends can be fatal for our nation's safety. Are we loose ends? Is that what that was an allusion to? But it seems like we are too late. Such a shame. Agent Flyman was sitting on a lot of information. We all thought he would be safe in prison. The cop just shot him. But the unthinkable has happened. Agent Flyman has committed suicide. Okay. That's believable. I feel like we're getting double crossed here. Hey, we're up. That last boss fight wasn't as bad as the goddamn Devil Dude. He was hard. Devil Dude was hard with the AK. Where are we at now? Do we get our money at least? Why are we at a garbage dump? Are they about to dump us here? Hope you guys don't mind walking from here. I mean, you don't want someone to see you getting dropped off by the man, right? It should be a only a, be a four mile walk. Jesus, what? <laughs> what a dick. What an absolute asshole. Those guys are the real crooks, am I right? But hey, dude. 
Look, look at all this money. What a thrill. At least we got paid. You gotta admit, that was something else, right? Perhaps. Perhaps. What's with you? Don't you... Doesn't anything excite you? What we did back there was fucking crazy. We got all this money. Are you that void of life? You're not... You don't even get excited over that? Not sure. I don't really reflect on this kind of stuff. Right now, it just kind of feels like I'm standing in filth. True. Maybe you want to waste your life as a nobody. Cry and hate your life. Not me, though. I'm going to be the illest hustler there ever was. Everyone's going to know it. Oh god, the pig's coming back for revenge! That was here. You can do whatever you want. I know I killed your family, pig. Don't hurt me. I want to help you. We can make a name for ourselves. Maybe you want to stay a nobody. But I don't want to be a loser forever. Alright, Mr. Pig. I'm not killing you unless I have to. Don't make me have to kill you, Mr. Pig. Aww. Aww. I'm sorry I killed your family. I don't want to be a loser either. That tower is super pretty. I just don't know if this is the way. Do you know the way? My brother. This might be the end of episode one. This game was freaking lit though. I love this game. I cannot wait for more of it if this is the end. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. And really good music too. The music was lit. I'll probably get copyright strikes for this voice. So, the dog's still up there on top. Oh wait, hold on. Screen went black. Game closed itself. I guess we won? Is that it? That was all she wrote? Uh... Does it close itself? I'm gonna assume that's it. Alright guys, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. This game was a ton of fun. Uh, I actually did super enjoy it. And I can't wait for more of the game. I'm gonna actually put this on my wish list because I want more. But, yeah. Bye!